<laughs> hey guys, happy Sunday. The reason I'm laughing, I'm always laughing when I start a vlog, is I shot a vlog before this to make my point and I went 18 minutes and I just, I was getting ready to upload it. I'm like, I can't do that. That's an 18 minute vlog to drive home a point. Here's my point. It's Sunday, I came in here to shoot this because I've really had a lesson that I needed to learn for the past couple of years. It's really been um, driven home and I, and I wanted to share it with you because so many of you have been writing to me going, you know, thanks for sharing what you're, you're thinking and your mindset because I have the same thoughts or I'm in perimenopause too or I'm, you know, in my 40s and blah, 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 blah. Whatever it is, this applies to anybody. The biggest problem I've had the past two and a half years is I've spent two and a half years overtraining, um, a lot of yo-yo dieting, trying everything, sticking to nothing, um, high stress, no sleep, um, killer work schedule, traveling, and then just again, being so hard on myself because I gained weight and my whole metabolism changed, you know, I'm hot all the time, had a skin condition, all of this beautiful, lovely perimenopause man madness um, that I'm gonna have to talk to God about when I die. But that said, I really spent two years just in this panic state of like, I'm this, I, I look horrible and awful, you know, kind of over exaggerating what I looked like, um, and then being obsessed with how I could change it and change it overnight, which is absurd. Um, and I stuck with nothing. And for the past two and a half years, a lot of my friends that are good at what they, good at either their fitness, they're already there, or they're good at, you know, having a baby and just bouncing right back to it. They all kept saying to me the same thing, which is, and it never hit, it never sunk into me because I'm impatient and I'm a control freak. And they were like, stick with something, pick something and stick with it and trust it and, and give yourself time. And what would I do? I would, I would panic. I would go, okay. Carly eats gluten-free, I'm gonna do gluten-free, I'm gonna do nothing but this and I'm gonna do it. And then I would do it for five days and be pissed off on Friday that I didn't have the results that I wanted. So I would give up and start again. Or I would give up and I would go to Burger King and I would, you know, get a Whopper and have something really bad and then go, oh, well, screw it, you know? And, and you know that whole mindset. You, you go out, you eat bad, and then you give up for three days and then you eat bad for three days and then you feel even worse and so you start something more extreme. I did that for two years. Um, two years of yo-yo dieting, of and, and then every time I would start a workout program, I would go to the extreme. If I was doing Valerie's program, like Red Carpet Ready or, or Action Hero Babe or anything, if it said 12 reps at, you know, 10 pounds, I'd do 24 reps at, you know, double the pounds, and then I'd do three extra excuse me, three extra sets. Everything I did was extreme. It was about punishing myself. If I did a workout on Monday that burned 800 calories, I would tr I'd be like, well, if 800 calories is good, 1200 calorie burn on Wednesday is better, and then 1500 calories, and it was just always more, 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 and try to eat less, 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 and that constantly just, I mean, you guys, that's just madness. And let, what, what happened with me? Two years, absolutely no progress. I was in the same pair of pants, same exact size, same exact weight, certainly, yeah, building some muscle when I did work out, but nothing. So all of that panicking and, and just, I should be thankful that I didn't go up and, and, and gain a tremendous amount of weight. But finally, you guys know, when I finished traveling, um, when I got to the beginning of this year, I realized that after quitting my job um, in August of last year to run this business, I so overworked myself and put myself last when the first thing I said I would do after I quit my job was, this is so awesome. I'm gonna be able to make time for my workouts. I'm gonna be able to really make time to cook for myself and, and have my healthy meals. And that was the last thing I did because I would get up and I would go in that office and I would be in there from sun up to sundown, you know, running in here really quickly while I'm on a conference call, throwing some tuna fish in my mouth, uh, barely tasting it, and then maybe not eating again until 10 o'clock at night. And then, you know, trying to eat healthy, trying to eat a protein shake or trying to eat, you know, something. And it was, it was absolutely ridiculous. So from August to like December and then the end of January, I was just like crazed. And you guys know, I came back from that uh, five weeks of travel that started in February and I said, this has to stop. I've got to get back to the point where, especially now I'm, I've founded a fitness company. You know, I've got to get back to the point where it's part of my life, I enjoy it, I make time for myself and so on. I said back then I was gonna blog 
Um, every single day for 30 days, I was going to get back into the habit of working out, even if it was 10 or 15 minutes, you know, that day, that's all I could fit in, and I did it. Then I went to LA and, you know, met with Val, and what she told me was, you know, you've got to calm down, you have to stick with something, you have to get sleep, you have to improve your diet, um, improve the quality of what you're eating, um, and, and get sleep, and, and, and get your stress level down because you're so far gone into you know all this overtraining all of this yo-yo dieting all of this stress all of this lack of sleep has has pummeled you into like a state of adrenal fatigue that is ridiculous it's going to take a while to get that um, to get that fixed and of course my first question was how long is that going to take <laughs> I always think that I could just flip a switch and everything's going to be better and if I can't flip a switch and everything's going to be better I get pissed off well finally Finally, I am sticking to things and I'm finally learning the lesson that it is true. Some people can, you know, have a baby or gain weight or whatever it is and they start a program and, and a lot of times this is guys, you know, they'll start a program and then they're the ones that go, oh, I lost 10 pounds in the first two weeks, it's amazing. And I'm like, fantastic, I lost an ounce, great. Um, it's never been that way for me my whole life. And it certainly isn't that way for me now in this lovely state of hormonal fun that I'm in. So all that to say, I have done Val's program and her diet plan for me for six weeks. Um, there have been, now mind you, this is only six weeks. Um, six weeks of doing um, Bikini Body Express, following the diet plan. Um, during those six weeks, I have had, I've shared with you guys if I've gone out, you know, when Aunt Flo is visiting, and I had a, um, a cheeseburger. That one week I had two cheeseburgers. So there have been meals that were not like on the plan, but they weren't um, binge meals. They weren't anything crazy. They weren't where I was like balls to the wall going nuts and, and stopping. Um, I've done my workout every day. Um, I've, I've kept the faith even when it's hard. You know, I had some results up front and then I was only, you know, I lost like an inch everywhere. I lost an inch off my waist, an inch off my hips, an inch everywhere. And then I started to just lose like a quarter of an inch or half an inch. And, I, and I'm and i not gonna lie, I started to get frustrated. But I kept with it because I knew that this is what I have to do. In the past week, you guys, I'm telling you, unsolicited, and it is the best thing when it's unsolicited. I had people on Facebook, I had some people on YouTube write me a note, and then I had some emails, and then my mom noticed something, and then my dad noticed something, where they both, pretty much all that to say, they were saying something like, wow, you know, I watched your videos, I haven't seen your videos in a while, you've really leaned out, you know, I could see that you're making a difference. Some people said they saw a picture of me, and then my mom was like, just, this is silly. She's like, I'm worried that you're getting too skinny, I'm like, why don't you stand behind me and grab this nice little roll of fat underneath my bra and then tell me if you think I'm getting too skinny. There's not ever gonna be a worry about me being skinny. I have no desire to be skinny. I wanna be strong and fit, period. I'm losing the fat that I don't need on my body, period. I have no, no desire to be skin and bones. Um, so all that to say is six weeks into it, you know, I'm, I'm starting to see more, I'm almost seeing like, Maybe I was, you know, going along, doing all of my work, and I might not have been seeing, oh, like say, say this is the scale or my measurements. I haven't, I haven't necessarily been feeling like it's been this steady like this. Sometimes you just go like this, and then you really start to drop. And I, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. All that to say, six weeks into this, I finally have people that are starting to notice, even when I wasn't necessarily noticing. And then I found myself catching myself in the mirror going, like I was at the club and I got off the treadmill and I was like, oh my God, or walking into a store and I could see my reflection in the mirror and I was like, wow, my legs are starting to get leaner. Those are things that normally I haven't, that certainly is not my first, um, the first thing that's usually coming out of my, out of my mouth or my brain when I'm looking at myself. And that's like the best feeling when someone else notices or when you notice. Um, and that just shows that keeping faith and having faith and not losing faith and not doubting yourself and sticking with it. You know, even if you have a cheeseburger, have a cheeseburger, that's not the end of the world. Get up, you know, do an extra 10 minutes in your run the next day or, or you know, have extra more vegetables and, and, and have a lower carb day or whatever you do the next day. Whatever your approach is, you do it. I'm just saying, I'm finally realizing 
Kelly Alexa, this is what you should have been doing all along. Freaking sticking with it. And that is encouraging me even more. Even if I hadn't had these, these um, comments this past week, I still would be sticking with it because I feel better. I'm proud of myself. I'm making progress. Every time I run and I'm doing better, I feel freaking awesome. Every time I pick up the weights and I can do, you know, whatever it is I've been doing on Val's program, um, I'm pausing less in between sets. I'm, I'm able to do that ultimate body press. Um, and I, you know, on the third set, uh, I don't stop until I've done 10 reps and then I stop for two seconds and I do my last five. Whatever it is, you know, where you're like, okay, that's better than last week. Or when I do my plank hold and I'm 10 seconds extra today. And now I have all of, it's, it's like, I'm proud. I feel great. I feel better. Um, I'm not where I want to be yet, but like that's becoming maybe 25%. Some days it's 50%. That's like 25% of what I'm looking to do that, or what I'm focusing on. I'm now more focusing on the progress and like this is what I'm doing. I'm eating healthy. I like what I'm eating. Um, I'm feeling good about what I'm fueling my body. I feel good about what I'm doing. Um, and, and excited about what I want to do and what I want to accomplish and how much better I want to get. And the results are happening. Um, I, I just wanted to share that with you because that's been like the, the number one thing that's been a problem for me for two years is sticking with something even when you feel like, hey, I'm just kind of coasting. You're never really coasting. You're, you're making progress. I mean, I, I believe that if you're, um, and I've known this in the past, I just didn't listen to it. If you're eating right and working out every day, you are making progress. It's better than, than nothing. So keep doing it. Everybody's results are going to come in at a different time. Some people can do, you know, change, change their diet and, and work out after four weeks and bam, all of a sudden they're losing three pounds a week, two pounds a week, whatever. Some people can, can change and, and be doing great for 12 weeks and they don't start. I, I mean, if you've ever read that book, Body for Life, there's a ton of people in there that said, um, I did this for 12 weeks and I didn't see results and then after 12 weeks I really started losing weight. Um, some people start losing it immediately. It all depends. We all have different bodies. But all that to say, trust the process. I'm finally having that lesson driven home to me and it feels, um, well, I feel great. I don't want to say the lesson feels great. The lesson makes me feel stupid that it took me this long to like listen to something that's such common sense. That's why I'm driving it home to you guys. So now we are switching up my diet, um, switching up my diet a little bit. We're switching my workouts. I've done six weeks of Val's Bikini Body Express. So now I'm switching to Action Hero Babe, which I had before, but we're also going to be going heavier on my weight days. Um, heavier on my weight days, still keeping running because um, she knows that I want to build up my running and then later in the year um, do a half marathon. So that's what I'm focused on. Still taking my Genetics HD in the morning, still taking my vitamins every day. I haven't added probiotics in yet, but I definitely, that's in my plan. So you'll hear more about that later. But that said, I'm going to go out. I'm going to go tanning. I'm going to get my weekly Starbucks chai soy latte because the soy at Starbucks is non-genetically modified. Um, and uh, then I'm going to come home, pack a little bit more, and I'm probably going to do yoga tonight. That's it. You guys have a good Sunday.